If you've been interested in saving money but have not been able to save much, you'll want to try out this 101 extreme frugal living tips. I spent days researching the frugal habits and money saving ideas of Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Dave Ramsey and many others and I have made the ultimate ranked list of frugal tips and money hacks that will help you start saving money fast from today. Number one, Warren Buffett's frugal living idea is to not upgrade your car unless you have to and consider a used car instead. Although Warren Buffett could afford to drive a new car every day, he chooses to keep his Cadillac XTS sedan for multiple years. Number two, Warren Buffett's money saving idea is to not buy a luxury brand. Buffett is not a fan of fashionable clothing or the newest iPhone model. Instead, he relied on his $20 flip phone for years until switching to the Apple smartphone in 2020. Buffett refrains from splurging and famously said, don't save what's left after spending, spend what's left after saving. Number three, Dave Ramsey's frugal living idea is to pay off debt. His famous strategy, the snowball method, is Step 1. List your debts from smallest to largest regardless of interest rate. Step 2. Make a minimum payment on all of your debts except the smallest. Step 3. Pay as much as possible on your smallest debt. Step 4. Repeat until each debt is paid in full. Number 5. Dave Ramsey's frugal habit is to create a budget. It will be extremely beneficial for long-term savings. Number 6. Pay yourself first by creating an automatic transfer of money from your paycheck to a savings account as soon as it is received. Number 7. Overestimate your expenses rather than underestimating them. Put your savings in a bank. Number 8. Shop for new car, home and personal insurances every year to save on new rates. Pay bills on time to avoid late fees simply by using Google Calendar reminders. Number 10. Be proactive. Can't pay the bills on time? Immediately call utilities company and ask for an extension. Avoid those late fees. Number 11. Zero dollars monthly account keeping fee are your best friends. Shop for banks that won't charge you to hold your money. Number 12. Bill Gates' money saving tip is to build an emergency fund. Gates built an emergency fund at the early days of Microsoft to keep the business afloat if it ever encountered financial trouble. Use the same lessons and build your emergency fund by firstly saving $1,000 and then three to six months of salary. Number 13. Use rounding up investing apps. Several apps will round up the cost of your purchases to the closest dollar and deposit the difference into a savings or micro investment account. Over time, the savings can add up quite quickly. Check out acorns.com for example. Number 15. Automate your savings. Set up an automatic transfer from your checking accounts to a savings account as soon as your paycheck is received. Over time, your savings will grow. Number 16. Refinance loans. If you have a sizable amount of debt with a high interest rate, refinancing can be an option that could save you thousands of dollars in the long run. Number 17. Get your bills online. Some utility providers like phone and internet companies will ch charge you for the paper copies of your bills. Consider changing to online to save on those expenses. Number 19. Monitor bank balances and credit card usage regularly to make sure your accounts haven't been charged extra. Number 20. Do the no spend month challenge. Number 21. Don't pay full prices online. Use apps like Honey that apply coupons to your final purchases and start saving money. Number 22. Warren Buffett's money saving idea is to use cash instead of credit. He says 98% of the time if I'm in a restaurant I'll always pay cash. It's just easy. Easier. Relying less on your credit card might help you avoid spending money you don't have even though the strategy might seem a little dated. Number 24. Warren Buffett recommends to use coupons. Bill Gates even writes, I remember the love that we had when we traveled together to Hong Kong and decided to get lunch at McDonald's. You offered to pay, dug into your pocket and pulled out coupons. If Warren Buffett with $75 billion net worth uses them, so can you. Number 25. Dave Ramsey recommends to plan ways to increase your income. Some of the suggestions are to sell your brand new vehicle for a cheaper but reliable used car instead. Have the biggest yard sale ever. Get a second job. And no matter if it's $1 or $100, any additional money you make should go towards catching up on your bills. Number 26. 
House hacking. Consider renting out a room in your house or apartment to help with the mortgage repayments. Airbnb is also an option. Number 27. No spend weekend challenge. Take control of your finances. Think creatively and don't spend any money for a weekend once a month. Number 28. Credit card rewards. Use credit cards the right way and you could travel the world for free by collecting generous sign-up bonuses as well as cashbacks and ongoing rewards. Number 29. Bundle and save. Call and negotiate with your utilities provider banks and insurances companies if they have a bundle package that will help you save more. For example, communications, mobile phones, internet and entertainment, you can bundle them together. Energy, electricity and gas, you can also bundle those together. And insurance companies, home and contents, personal, car and pets. You can call the insurance company and try to bundle them together. Lastly, banking, you can savings, frugal living tips, entertainment. Number 31, get rid of your cable box and replace it with an antenna or a streaming device and a Hulu or Netflix membership. Don't go overboard by getting all of the streaming services together. That will be too much. Number 32, never go out to eat without a coupon. Check this website out, restaurants.com or befrugal.com and Groupon.com as well. You can save significantly, see significantly if you find coupons. Number 33, host a movie night and have some popcorn at home. Number 34, game night with the kids. Monopoly, Jenga and puzzles are great ideas to get them off their phones and enjoy some family time. Number 35, free days at museums and art galleries are also a good way to spend your time. Number 36, traveling during off-peak seasons can lead to massive savings on hotels and Airfares, as well as flights during festive seasons, such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, and spring break, as they can get quite expensive. Frugal living tips around the house. Number 37. Warren Buffett recommends to not buy a large home just to impress others. Be frugal like Warren Buffett. As Buffett originally spent $31,500 for his Omaha, Nebraska house, which translates to around $289,000 to today's money. He has lived there for more than 60 years, unlike other billionaires who bulk up on pricey real estate. Number 38. Repair items. Try to repair things rather than just buying new ones, as it can be much cheaper. Number 39. Reduce your heating. Check what temperature your air conditioner is set. Lowering it down by 2 degrees can save a lot of money. Number 40. Insulate, insulate, insulate. Check if the house is insulated. This could drastically save you in electricity costs, especially during the cold winter days. Number 41. Invest in a smart thermostat. This will save you on electricity expenses by regulating the house temperature. Number 42. Take time to showers. Five minutes is maximum. Number 43. Organize your house and remove excess clutter. As they say, clean space, clear mind, which will make you more productive, but also prevent you from buying things you already have. Number 44. Wash your car yourself. Don't leave it to the machine and you'll save $20 to $50. Number 45. Use the dishwasher once it's full or wash the dishes by hand. Number 46. Use cold water to wash your garments. Number 47. As an alternative to using a dryer, hang your clothes to dry on a rack to reduce your electricity bills. Number Number 48. Choose cashback rebates when possible. Check out sites like Swagbox, Fetch Rewards and Honey to save money. Number 49. Sign up to a rewards or loyalty card at your grocery stores. Over time you can receive $20, $50 and $100 gift vouchers. Number 50. Keep price matching in mind. Many stores will price match if you find a cheaper price. If they don't, try eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Number 51. Return items that you don't need. Did you buy something on impulse and don't really they need it well return it and get your money back number 52 use ceramics or reusable container and plates instead of those disposable single-use plastic containers number 53 throw away the paper towels and use the cloth dinner napkins instead wash them when they get dirty and reuse number 54 avoid purchasing items you will only use once seek to buy items that are multi-purpose number 55 install energy efficient light LED light bulbs they will use 75% less energy and will help to reduce your electricity bill. Number 56. Use energy efficient appliances. Check that they carry an Energy Star logo and make sure to switch appliances off when not used. Number 57. Purchasing Purchase clean supplies in bulk from wholesale stores like Costco. Number 58. Buy clothes at the end of the season when they are discounted. Number 59. Shop at a charity store 
It's a great way to find affordable designer clothes. Number 60. Repurpose clothing by turning old t-shirts into rags. Number 61. Save by buying groceries in bulk like nappies, frozen veggies, rice, pasta, etc. Number 62. Wear clothes twice. The fact that you wear garments doesn't always indicate that they are dirty every time. Instead of immediately throwing anything into the laundry, if it looks and smells okay, hang it out to air overnight. Number 63. Bath only when necessary. Some experts suggest to only bath when you are sweaty or dirty. Otherwise, bathing every day could strip away natural oils and lead to dry and irritated skin. Number 64. Install low flow shower heads as they use less than traditional shower heads without sacrificing water pressure or quality. Number 65. Never waste water. To flush the toilet, water plants, or water animals, save the water you use to warm up your shower. Number 66. Reducing your water bill and carbon footprint by collecting rainwater in water tanks, buckets, or even small children's pools. This water could later be filtered and used for hydrating you so that you have the energy to smash that light button. Number 67. Get solar panels. Although they might have an initial high upfront cost, over their lifespan of 30 years, they will save you way more more in electricity bill. Number 68. Don't be cheap, be frugal. I used to buy new shoes every two to three months because they would constantly fall apart. I tried to be frugal but instead I was cheap. I bought cheap shoes from cheap materials and from a cheap store. I was spending $40 every two to three months. This meant that I'd be spending almost $160 to $200 per year on shoes. I decided to adopt new frugal hub and bought good quality shoes for $100. I had those shoes for two years, therefore I saved about $300. Focus on the items value over time. Number 69, consider downsizing your home. Maybe the situation has changed and now the kids have moved out. It might be a good idea to change to a smaller place, which could be a way of reducing the rental payments, save money and paying off the debt that was accumulated. Number 70. Keep your tires inflated. Underinflated tires have the potential to degrade more quickly and end up using more fuel to keep them rolling. Number 71. Look for the cheapest gas. Gas prices can vary greatly depending on where, to, where you buy it. So check out apps like Gas Buddy that will help you locate the cheapest gas station nearby. Number 72. Take advantage of discounts. Some stores offer discounts for seniors, students, military personnel and others. Number 73. Always do a full load. One of the simplest money saving advice is to never use your dishwasher or washing machine unless you have a full load. Number 74. Work from home if possible with the current improvements in technology. Working from home can be more productive and comfortable and you'll save on transportation costs and have more time for yourself. Frugal living tips. Hobby and recreation category. Number 75. Charlie Munger's money saving idea is to focus on self education. Go to the library, watch lectures and videos on YouTube for free. In Charlie's own life, when he was practicing law, he implemented the self education regime for one hour a day to learn such things as real estate development and stock investing. So be like Charlie. Ask yourself, what could you learn today? Number 76. Shopping is not a hobby for the frugal, so avoid it. Look for other hobbies. Number 77. Need versus want. Don't buy things you don't need, even if they are on sale. Number 78. Avoid making impulse purchases. Wait 24 hours before making any large purchase. Number 79. Pick up a new skill that will be useful, like painting, gardening, basic electrical work, or plumbing. You may then perform all of your own handiwork. Number 80. Start cycling. Not only is it free and great for your health, but you can replace your shorter car trips with an easy bike ride. Frugal living tips. Gifts category. Number 81. Establish a maximum amount for birthday and holiday gifts. Number 82. Keep a hidden inventory of clearance toys in the house and only buy them for children's birthdays. Reuse gift bags and wrapping paper. Number 83. Buy cards in bulk and save or print your own handmade ones. Number 84. Don't buy gifts, make them. Make your presents rather than purchasing them might help you to save money and stay out of debt, especially during the costly holidays like Christmas. They will also have a greater meaning. Number 85. Find free stuff on web websites like Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree. Anything from clothes, couches and technology. Frugal living tips help category. Number 86. Warren Buffett recommends to stop smoking and drinking as they are quite expensive, neither of which are good for your health. They could as a result in the future increase your medical expenses. Buffett is still alive today at the age of 92 despite never smoking or drinking alcohol. Number 87. Warren Buffett's money saving idea is to not gamble. Warren Buffett avoided gambling 
because he had the belief that the house always wins. He once bought a slot machine for his house and used the dimes to pay his kids allowances, knowing that they wouldn't be able to resist the temptation of the slot and he'd get their entire allowance back the same day. They discovered what Warren Buffett and other investors already know. Gambling is unprofitable. Number 88. Drink water can save you money. These days, everything is coarser and contains sugar and high caffeine and it's harmful for your health. Number 89. Focus on preventative care. Don't just react when you are unwell. Number 90. Reconsider your gym membership as they can be quite costly. $60 per month can equal to $720 a year. Save that money by following home workouts on YouTube and go for a run, for a walk, for a swim or even join your local sports club. Frugal living tips, food category. Number 91. Stop using food delivery app. Get rid of those food delivery apps and start le learning how to make your own meals instead. If you want to save money, because food delivery is incredibly convenient, but you have to pay extra for that convenience. Number 92. Dave Ramsey's daily frugal living tip is to not buy coffee. Instead, you can brew your own coffee at home and take it to work or school in a thermos container. Number 93. Dave Ramsey recommends to create a meal plan. The amount of money you spend on food each month will decrease. Number 94. Dave Ramsey money saving hack is to go to grocery shopping once a week and only buy items that are on your list. Also, don't go on an empty stomach as you will be tempted by the sweets. Number 95. Eat at home. Eating takeaway and going to a restaurant too often can be quite expensive. Save money by cooking at home. You could eat easily save a few hundred dollars at a time, if not more. Number 96. Make a plan for your meals. It's common for impulsive, I'm hungry now purchases to be more pricey and most likely unhealthy. Number 97. Grow your own herbs and veggies. Number 97. Growing your own herbs and vegetables can be quite simple and it's as close to farm to table as you can get without leaving the house. It could be your new hobby. Number 98. Consider purchasing cheaper cuts of beef. Search online for meatless recipes or ways to use less meat and make cost-effective alternatives. Number 99. Buy generic label and store brands. It's simple to get fixated on a name brand, but generic alternatives can sometimes be just as good and much less expensive. Number 100. Instead of buying bottled water, get a water filter or filtered pitcher, resulting in less plastic bottles thrown out and more savings for you. Number 101. Bring your own lunch. Even if you just buy lunch three days a week for $10 each, it adds up to nearly $1,560 in yearly expenses. That's also the money that you could start saving from making your own lunch. Thanks for watching all the tips. I hope you enjoy them and I hope you'll take action and start implementing this uh, frugal living tip strategies, ideas, tricks and hacks in your life. And I hope that you will start saving more money and improve your quality of life. Make sure to continue watching my next money saving tips uh, or some hidden ninja money tips that nobody talks about. So I'll see you soon. As always, let's not be mediocre. Let's be great. I'll see you soon.